Are you looking for a news source that caters to you? A place to go to find the who, what, when, and where of Spring Hill. Do you want to know what's happening at your school, in your community, and in your world? A place to get what you want to know, but also what you need to know. It's time for you. It's time for Spring Hill. It's time for the Badger Beat. It's Paige with Badger Beat Sports. Now let's take a look at what's coming up for the spring semester. The women's tennis team continues to get closer and closer to the conference title, but they're just not there yet. They're hoping this year with a new coach and some strong players, they'll have what it takes to take this new conference by storm. On the other hand, the men's tennis team hasn't had so much luck in the past. They're hoping this year bring in a lot of new talent. They're going to step it up. Baseball faces some challenges this season. They got a few top pitchers out, but they're hoping with the great chemistry and camaraderie, they can pull it off. The softball team didn't have a, such a good season last year, but they're hoping with some new players and some hard work, they can finish up on top. The rugby team is coming into this season strong. Although they had a loss to Alabama, they didn't go down without a fight. They're hoping with their strong senior leadership and some underclassmen stepping up, they can have even more success in 2011. The women's basketball team is another one that had a tough season, but they're hoping with some new players and some work on their inside game, they can turn it around. The basketball team looks like they're going to have an upturn this season. With senior Nick Brown scoring his 1,001st point against Faulkner University last weekend. Although they do have a few players riding the bench because of eligibility issues, they're hoping to pull it off. So, with a new year and a new conference, Badger Athletics is looking pretty good. I'm Paige Malone, Badger Beat TV. I'm Emily Landrieu here with Badger Beat TV with the Spring Hillian Rundown. There's a few things you're bound to notice this year, especially with the new layout. This year, the Hillian's going to focus mainly on visuals. There'll still be text, but there's a few new great additions. Look out especially for the new cartoons. They're bound to catch your eye and your funny bone. You'll be able to find that, as well as other things like Sudoku, crossword puzzles, and games on the back page of the paper. But don't forget the news. For different tips and tricks on how to survive college life here at Spring Hill, you'll need a read up. So make sure to pick up a Spring Hillian tomorrow all around campus. I'm Emily Landry for Badger Beat TV. It's always hard to get back into a new semester after the holiday, but imagine doing it a few thousand miles away. Well, junior Lori Pendergast is finding out just how hard that is. I kind of feel like I'm at camp right now because you're in this place where you don't really know all the people and you kind of came with some friends, but you're with a bunch of people you don't know. But the Italians at this campus are like unbelievable. Everybody's like, ciao, ciao all the time, so they're awesome. Um, Even though struggling to learn the language and to get around town, she is still making time for fun. Tomorrow, me and my sister are gonna take a day trip to Verona. I get done with class at 10.30 in the morning, so we're gonna go to Verona and see where Juliet came from, maybe like write a love letter to her. No, I'm kidding, I won't do that. Pendergast and her fellow SHC travelers have already learned a lot and hope others at Spring Hill can benefit from this opportunity. You know, you only live once, so I would say Spring Hill kids should jump on board for sure. Um, that's all for now. I'll keep you updated. Um, ciao. So make sure to keep up with updates from Italy. Ciao. Almost a year ago today, Spring Hill College sophomore Jessica Sylvester died in a traffic accident. She was, um, she went to visit a friend in Tuskegee and she was coming back like that same night and she had a wreck. 
And we're not sure. I think she was like texting and driving or like fell asleep at the wheel or like something like that. And um, like collided with the 18 wheel. Alicia Manzi and Sylvester's other friends are keeping her memory alive, raising money to dedicate a tree in her honor. Yeah, we raised eighty six dollars today already, so we're excited about that. Her friends say they still need more money to reach their ultimate goal. Hopefully we raise enough money like to do it on her death day, like to dedicate it on that day. So hopefully we can get that much. We're trying to get a tree and also get a plaque to put in front of it. Here outside of Jessica's dorm, Skip's place, friends are thinking of planting her memorial tree. As a daughter, as a student, and as a friend, Jessica meant so much to them. Uh, she was so fun. She was just like really outgoing, very friendly. Like she didn't meet a stranger. Like everybody she met, you know, she like instantly like befriended them. Jessica, she meant so much to us. And like we know, like if it had been one of us, she would have did the same thing. Jasmine Williams, Badger Beat TV.